The Duchess of Cambridge was elegant in teal while on military duty today as she joined Prince William for the traditional street. Patrick's Day visit to the Irish Guards. Kate Middleton, 40, cut a chic figure in a gorgeous £3,200 Laura Green London dress, which she matched perfectly with complementing emerald accessories and a shamrock brooch, as she visited the 1st Battalion Irish Guards at the Saint. Patrick's Day Parade, Mons Barracks in Aldershot, the Duchess went on to present the traditional sprigs of shamrock to the officers and guardsmen who will in turn issue it along the ranks, while the Duke, 39, could be seen proudly watching on. The mother of three appeared in high spirits during the parade, taking a moment to ruffle the head of the Irish Guards mascot Turlow Moore, before appearing utterly charmed by one young family attending the event. It marks the first the time the mother of three and Prince William have attended the parade since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. The Duchess swept her brunette locks into a low bun for the occasion, opting for a smart emerald fascinator which she wore atop her head. Meanwhile she kept her makeup neutral, with a sweep of dark eyeliner across her lid and a touch of nude lipstick. Popular among wealthy fashionistas, Laura Green London employs teams of expert dressmakers to create bespoke pieces for their clients, who include presenters Lucy Verasimi and Charlotte Hawkins, and television personality Georgia Toffolo. Zara Tyndall, the Queen's eldest granddaughter, wore a Laura Green houndstooth coat dress to the Cheltenham Festival earlier this week. The designer has been operating the pop-up store in the capital during the pandemic, but normally insists on appointment-only visits to her private London showroom. On her website, Laura Green states, Fashion has the power to uplift and we want our clients to feel unbound to wear or when they envision themselves wearing the pieces. The coat dress is described online as a distinguished piece cut in speckled hunting green military wool. As well as presenting the Irish guards with the sprigs of shamrock, the Duchess shared a playful moment with the Irish wolfhound regimental mascot. Animal lover Kate, who has a cocker spaniel puppy at home, presented the animal with his own sprig of shamrock to mark the occasion before ruffling the fur on his head and beaming. The parade will conclude with a march past where Prince William will take the salute. Following the parade the Duke and Duchess then met members of the regiment before sitting for official officers and sergeants mess photographs and a photo with Irish guards in every rank in the British Army. Kate and William will then visit the junior ranks dining hall where the senior guardsmen in the battalion will propose a toast to their royal highnesses. A custom begun by Queen Alexandra in 1901, the St. Patrick's Day shamrocks were once presented by the Queen Mother, although in recent years, Princess Anne has also taken on the job. Since 2012, however, the duty has fallen to Kate, whose husband, the Duke of Cambridge, is the current Royal Colonel of the Irish Guards. The Irish Guards have been a part of the British Army since 1900, when they were founded by a royal decree from Queen Victoria to commemorate the Irishmen who died fighting during the Boer War. Since then, the Guards, who, like all Guards regiments boast the Queen as their Colonel-in-Chief, have fought in all the major 20th-century conflicts and, more recently, led the British advance into Basra during the Iraq War in 2003. The Irish Guards were also among the last units to be deployed to Afghanistan and in 2013, were drafted in to play a mentoring role for local Afghan troops before being returned to the UK in time for the Queen's Birthday Parade. The engagement comes amid a busy period for the couple, who are about to embark on a week-long tour of the Caribbean.
William and Kate will visit the Caribbean as part of a tour of Jamaica, Bahamas and Belize, countries that are all still Commonwealth realms. The couple are set to launch a royal charm offensive on their first joint visit to Jamaica, with insiders hoping Kate will be a key player in persuading the country to stay in the Commonwealth. In November, Barbados made the move to become a republic, losing the Queen as its official head of state, and Jamaica's Prime Minister has confirmed his own country would now be keen to follow suit. Andrew Holness, Jamaica's Prime Minister, said just days after the official ceremony took place in Barbados to mark independence, there is no question that Jamaican has to become republic. However, the Cambridge's first major joint overseas tour since before the pandemic, coinciding with the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, could see the country persuaded otherwise. A visit from Kate and William, England's future king and queen, could shore up crucial support for the monarchy in the region. And earlier this week, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge joined Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall, Prime Minister Boris Johnson, and hundreds of dignitaries and schoolchildren at the Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey. The Queen, who has recently recovered from coronavirus and has been experiencing mobility issues, had hoped to attend in person but asked her son Charles to represent her at the service after discussing arrangements with members of the royal household. Ensuring the comfort of the monarch, who now regularly uses a stick, is thought to have been an overriding consideration in her decision not to take part.